Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Recently, like two or three weeks ago, I did the healer build and people asked me some questions. They wanted me to make it like more in depth. Uh, I'm not only gonna show my healer build, but I'm gonna show the gameplay of Gorgon as the main healer. The last time, uh, how to say that, I was more like the off healer. Now I'm gonna heal the tank, so you're gonna see more like the strats when you are doing the auto roll. Uh, it's a bit different. You can still keep void blading. Uh, you can make a ranged build with the void gauntlet too. Uh, that could be decent, but with the void blade, uh, you can still be there void blading and healing the tank. It's work. You're gonna see it into the video. I can explain a bit the phase too. I'm gonna I'm look what I can do with that. So as you can see, this is my, my spec. Uh, I was using the, the focus food. Uh, there's the touch stone with the desert sunrise. Uh, you use the energizing RT meal just to have the, the mana regeneration uh, RT meal too. You use the, the big gunning stone. I just use the I'll, I'll mine. I'm gonna go get some infuse and uh, coating and ward potion. Uh, this is the consumable that I was using and my build. I'm gonna show it piece per piece. I just want to let you know that uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna build a better on this account. I really start to think about it. I'm gonna use the not so watches piece like this and I'm probably gonna put like a trust conditioning or slash conditioning it's gonna be a piece that I'm gonna be able to use all around uh, and then what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna switch the, the piece around to keep my harnessing depending on uh, which type of PvE I do and then this one is not gonna have harnessing but I'm still gonna benefit uh, from a bit of conditioning uh, you see into the red, the slash uh, are, is insane. And there's always some slash in PvP too. So I'm pretty sure that if I put slash conditioning on this chest piece, it, I'm not going to feel like it's that much a big waste. And I'm going to be able to use it in a uh, multiple type of content. So yeah, uh, fire harnessing is the first that you want to look. And then after that, it's like conditioning, uh, weapon perk, uh, shrinking energy is not bad. Uh, like the weapon perk that I have right now is 45 circle ground and it's my, on my life staff. Uh, Divine Embrace weapon perk would be nice, but you don't really need it, but that would be nice. Having it on your life staff is even better, but uh, you know, 45 circle ground is great in PvE because it, it helps people not get one tap and the 45, the, the cap is so high that uh, it's great. Uh, you have a health cap, but you don't have a 45 cap. Uh, it just do be like that. I have a, a DPS Void Gauntlet. Uh, like Keen is not the best when you're not doing backstab. But you cannot do backstab most of the time. So you're going to see my Keen help a lot. And on the Void Gauntlet when you are doing critical. It reduces your cooldown. So this is amazing. I like it. Uh, so yeah my build is nothing really complex right there. Uh, I could be, like, it can be better, it's not too hard, it's all some gear that I drop in dungeon, like, this is from Genesis, uh, this is probably from, uh, uh, Divine, Savage Divine, uh, Primordial is probably, like, a Dynasty or Depths, or Savage Divine again, this too, Savage Divine, and then there's, a. Uh, uh, infected it does nothing for me but i still have rt sacred it's pretty good lt toast is gonna save your life uh, refreshing toast is amazing regenerating is useless since i have a lot of uh, i have a very low con <clears throat> regenerating the the percentage of my health uh, my health is low so it does nothing uh for the the, the arch rune you can use fire kick on the first boss on the second boss you're gonna use vines uh, grasping vine, you don't need to have a big uh, vine upgraded to make it work uh, only for this boss fight. And then for the last boss, you can use uh, stone form or fire kick. Both are pretty good, they work great. Or the vines again, if you upgraded it. So yeah, let's dive 
uh, this is like the, the stats I have. You probably saw it before. Uh, elemental damage do a big difference. Like 10% uh, is a lot. And I have the ruby into my void gun plate with the attunement. So it's amazing. The light and EV, it's what you're doing with the void blade. Uh, so it's all big buff right there for your void blade. And then your 350 is far enough for the tank to survive. And 100 con. It's far enough for you to survive. I did heal this dungeon with 50 con and 37 con. Like it, it's far enough. <clears throat> so for the weapon mastery, this is what I was using. I did not know at the start that I was going to heal the tank. So this is what I had and I just kept it. You can go full AoE. It, maybe it's going to be easier. But I feel like this build worked very good you can use it uh, on both position you can use it as a off healer and as a main healer and it's gonna work your show sure of what you do with this build but uh i'm gonna let you know that if, if your group is all melee you can go aoe or if your tank uh you can go all the aoe if you heal the tank it's gonna work too but the tank doesn't need that much healing seriously the boss are not eating too hard and you can pump with divine embrace on them when they need it so yeah you're still gonna have some dps that you can heal with the, the splash of flight so it help uh, for the void gauntlet this is what i used the ranged attack sometimes it help uh, you're gonna see essence rupture is amazing what happened with essence rupture is there's a lot of thing that it does that it's pretty hard to get anywhere else so i it, look at this it heal anyone that deal dps so it's 20 percent leeching that everyone gain and then 15 percent stamina when they hit a target afflicted by that so it's a lot it, it come back quick mostly if they hit fast like a rapier uh, the friendly are healed based of your focus when it ends so that's a big bump of heal again it's amazing and it, it's gonna heal uh, the 10 people in your red when they're gonna hit the boss so I you need at least one dude with essence culture in your group it changed everything and during the ads phase maybe you can switch for the screen but I like keeping the essence culture because <clears throat> being able to life leech of the ads it's gonna help your dps to pump and i have the vines anyway so you see if i have to rate i would say that the not so what just piece would be the best for healer only because you're doing more dps so you can help during all those phases where the dps need dps and then the attune leather pants is amazing too because you're gonna gain some stats and even more healing because it's the, the stats gonna help you to heal more for sure and a bit more DPS. But uh, I think with the Natsu Watches piece, you're still gonna do more DPS. Mostly if you get like a Rune Glass Gem and like uh, all the Arnissing build, like it does a difference. And then there's the Fitter Weight that is amazing too. It's gonna make you tanky. So if you're new at the game and you're looking for something easy, easier to survive. You're gonna start with fitter weight and then you're gonna upgrade later to the Atun Leather Pants or the Natsu Watches piece depending on your need. And yeah, I think Natsu Watches piece is gonna be it for me. I like big DPS. <laughs>
like four times so don't stand yourself when it gets to the top you roll crystals just watch your placement here Everybody get closer, everybody get closer. She's not. Ah. Pump, pump, pump. Good damage, good damage. Roll, free damage, free damage. Everybody hit it. It's gonna spawn crystals, no jumps. Alright, let's get these crystals. Rocks, careful. Rocks out. Rock. 
Crystals. Crystals now. Yep. Be, be nice and patient. We're almost done. Rocks. All right, everybody's good. Killer's gonna spawn. He's gonna jump here. He's gonna jump. Save your staff. Jumping now. Jump. One more jump coming in. Jumping to the front. Jump. Alright, three damage now. Keep popping. Drop, drop. Three damage. Dodge. Hit. We right right here. We right yeah. right here. Fuck the crystals, hit the boss. Fuck the crystals, hit the boss. Get 
nothing bad.
Yeah, play a little bit safe if you have to, too. Okay. That range. You stay alive. Look at the shade. DPS, DPS, DPS. Uh, I'm still on. What's up to you guys? Damn, I'm down.
Nice, good shit, we got. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> 